DCT family, hope you're doing great. Before delving into today's topic, I would like to remind you to subscribe and like the content if you feel to. Analytics of the channel states that about 94% of you guys are not subscribers. We would like to bring our family together to build the community and to prepare for some awesome things that are on the way. So make sure you hit the subscription button so you won't miss any of it. Now let's get into business. In this video, we will discuss the emulsions in stability. We will touch on that so as when we talk about the ingredients needed to formulate emulsions and how to prepare emulsions, you will be enjoying the video, knowing why each sentence is said and the reasons behind each ingredient or approach. So as you're watching this video, then you know what emulsions are, what are the different types of emulsions and how emulsions are formed in the first place. If not, don't worry, you know we are here to have your back. Just go and check our previous videos on the emulsions playlist and we will be on the same page. But in brief, emulsions are composed of water and oil. One is dispersed as droplets throughout the other with the help of an emulsifying agent. They are inherently unstable because oil and water are not compatible, but in order to prevent that from happening, we use the emulsifying agent. Still, we might experience failure in keeping the emulsion system together, and that can be in the form of cracking, flocculation, creaming, or phase inversion. And these are the instabilities that emulsions might have. So let's look into each one. We will start by cracking or irreversible instability and this refers to complete coalescence of the dispersed phase and its separation into a layer. So we would have two layers, one of water and another of oil eventually. Why would that happen? It must be related to the emulsifying agent because this is the ingredient that keeps the whole system as it's supposed to be and we detailed that in the emulsion theory video. So what can cause the emulsifying agent to fail its function and thus leads to this irreversible instability of cracking? Well, we have four things. Two are related to the nature of the emulsifying agent and the other two are related to its stability. The first one related to the nature of the emulsifying agent is the nature of the emulsifying agent. Some emulsifiers are suitable to produce oil and water emulsions, but not the opposite, and vice versa. Thus, selecting an emulsifying agent which is not suitable for the type of the emulsion we are formulating will compromise the function of the emulsifying agent and the produced emulsion. We will look into how to select emulsifying agents later in this series. Okay, that's one. Another thing is we might have selected the correct emulsifying agent for our emulsion type, but we have an excipient interacting with the emulsifying agent and affecting its ability to stabilize the system. One category of emulsifying agents is the cationic emulsifiers and from the name you can know that it bears a positive charge. So having any other component with a negative charge in the formulation would pose a potential interaction. So till now it's either a not suitable emulsifying agent or a not compatible emulsifying agent. What else can cause cracking? Well, we agreed that it's all related to the emulsifying agent when it comes to cracking and we might be successful at selecting appropriate ones that are compatible with the other formulation excipients, but we might end up storing the emulsions in unsuitable temperatures that would affect the emulsifying agent. Both extremes are not for the emulsifying agents and might end up causing cracking of the emulsions. Another thing related to the stability of emulsions is the microbial growth. As microorganisms are known to metabolize many emulsifying agents and that of course would diminish the stabilizing effect of the emulsifying agent and eventually lead to emulsions cracking. Do you know why microorganisms would metabolize emulsifying agents? 
The second instability for emulsions is the deflocculation. This refers to reversible interaction between the droplets of the internal or the dispersed phase happening because of the van der Waal forces. And these interactions can be broken by shaking, which would then restore the state of having the droplets dispersed throughout the dispersion medium to yield a homogeneous formulation. This phenomena can be understood better if you watch the DLVO theory and how distance between particles or droplets here can lead to reversible or irreversible interactions and why. We have that in the suspension series and I'll put a link to it in the description box for you. Third is creaming and it happens because of a density difference between the two phases the oil and water used in the formulation. Upon shaking it goes away and this makes it an aesthetic problem but it affects the patient acceptance because most people when see oil droplets on the surface of an emulsion they think that the product is expired. That's why it's important to take care of this issue. I'll give you a hint on how and you tell me what to do to prevent creaming in emulsions. So the hint is stock slow. This slow describes the rate of creaming and it is as follows. So type into the comment section what can you do or what to adjust to prevent creaming according to this equation. The last issue we have with emulsions stability is the phase inversion. Remember when we talked about types of emulsions, we mentioned a term called critical value, which refers to the percentage of both phases in the two types of emulsions. So simply, if the critical value is exceeded in either type of emulsion, we might experience having an inversion to the other type. To really digest this, I advise you to watch the last video and I'll put the link to that video in the description box for you. So cracking, flocculation, creaming and phase inversion. Those are the main types of emulsions and stability and we covered them in this video. In the next video of emulsion series, we will talk about the formulation ingredients and how to select them to prevent these issues. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, stay fabulous wherever you are.